race. Where are you going in such a rush, turtle? Oh, nowhere in particular. It's just that I always move around at this speed. Yeah, of course. What's the matter? Because you're so slow, you can't imagine the rest of us are able to move around so quickly? Excuse me, I go slowly because I'm in no rush, but I could move a whole lot faster if I wanted to. Oh yeah? I sure would like to see that someday. Don't be leaving so quickly because you and I aren't done yet. We need to decide which of us is fastest. That makes no sense at all. It's obvious that I'm the fastest. Nobody has ever seen a snail beat a turtle. Hello, friends. What are you talking about? This conceited turtle thinks that she's faster than me. I don't want to make matters worse, but turtles are usually faster than snails are. That's true, but it so happens that I am a very fast snail. Why don't you just quit the bragging and show us already? All right, look at how fast I move. Wow! It looks like you really are fast. Oh, that's nothing. Watch me. Wow, you're really fast too. Yes, but I can go even faster. You know what I suggest? Why don't you two have a race and it'll decide which one of you is the fastest? That's fine with me. Today will not be your lucky day. You're going to see what it means to lose, my dear Miss Turtle. <laughs> my dear friends, the rules are simple. You must go one lap around the sandbox, and the one who gets back first will be the champion. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready, but I have to do something first. Do what? I have to go to the bathroom. You have to go now? Uh-huh. Well, that's not a problem. Just behind that rock, you'll find one. I'll be right back. What's wrong with that turtle? Why is she leaving now, right before the race? I think she's pulling out of the race. I don't think she's doing that. She probably has to mentally prepare. Maybe she's just scared and doesn't want to compete against the snail. She's clearly afraid. Everybody take your position. Get ready. Get set. Go! Let's go, friends. May the best one win. Come on, you can do it. Faster, you can go faster. I guess you're ready to lose. I'm sorry, but you're the one who's going to lose. I seriously doubt it. I thought this race would be more exciting. You must understand that these are two of the slowest animals in the world. Yeah, but I thought there'd be a little more competition, tension, nerves. Yeah, like the day that we created our own Olympics. Yes, I remember. I won by my ear. That's not true, Moomoo. You won by an ear, which is not the same thing at all. That sure was a really exciting race. How much longer till this race is over? Calculating their speed, which is then divided by the actual distance, multiplied by the win factor, they have at least another two hours and a half before they finish the race. Oh, great. We're going to waste the entire afternoon watching these hot rods. They're going so slow that we'll be here till tomorrow. I'm very sorry, but I don't have time for such nonsense. I'm leaving. Well, hold on, Rita. I'll go with you. Yes, I'm going to go as well. To, um, to do homework. Cheer up, friends. You're almost halfway there. Those two, they can't take it anymore. I'm 
just going to sit down here because I'm tired of watching them. At this rate, they won't even be done by tomorrow. Boy, we are slow. We still have more than halfway to go, and I'm hungry. I'm not saying that I want to stop, but if you like, we could finish this race later. So then who won? Well, I'd say we both won. That works for me. Now let's both eat something. I'll invite you to my house. Thank you. I'd be delighted. A crying lion. It's not a lion, Moo Moo, it's me. Rita, those are roars of a lion. It's my belly, and it hasn't stopped making noises all morning. I think I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, but there are still a few hours to go until we eat. I don't understand why I'm so hungry today. I had a really good breakfast. It's because we've been running around and playing all morning and we worked up an appetite. I'm really hungry. I could eat a big plate of pasta with strawberry marmalade and chocolate chips. We need to quit talking about food or our bellies won't stop making those noises. You know what just occurred to me? I'm going to go and make something to eat right now. What a great idea, Olga. So what are you going to make? It's a surprise. If you wait huh? for me here, I'll make you something really good. All right, but don't take too long. I'm going to make some tuna and cheese sandwiches. The first thing I have to do is prepare the slices of bread. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think I better make two sandwiches per person. I'll need six more slices. Now I'll make six cheese sandwiches and six tuna. First, I'll add two slices of cheese in each sandwich and then a little bit of mayonnaise. I'll put two really good slices here, and two more here, and here, and here, and finally two more here. Now I just need to put the tops on the cheese sandwiches. I'll do the same thing for the tuna sandwiches. First, I'll add the tuna. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I just have to cover them. I think everything's ready now. But since they're all so hungry, I should make something really good for dessert. Let me think. I'll make them a really big chocolate cookie. I hope Olga comes back soon. What do you think she's making for us? I hope it's something really tasty and delicious. I would love a tuna and cheese sandwich. You're so right, Talalo. It would be awesome if she also made a really big chocolate chip cookie. If she takes much longer, I'm going to die of hunger. I want to eat now. Enough with the noise, Moo Moo. It sounds like a bear growling inside your stomach. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go see if Olga needs any help. Moo Moo, you'd better not. Olga told us that we should all stay right here. Don't you worry. I'm not going to do anything wrong. I'm just going to help Olga. Don't always think the worst. Hi, Olga. Olga? Where are you? 
Look at all this food. And it's all ready to eat. What yummy looking sandwiches. Oh. Oh. Nothing would happen if I just eat one, right? I can't. I promised that I'd be good. Well, just one, nothing will happen. They won't even notice. That was so yummy, but I'm still hungry. Nothing would happen if I eat another one. Now I better not eat any more. But I'm still hungry, but... Now there's only 10 left. If I eat another four, everyone would still get one sandwich each. Nothing would happen. The food is ready. You can all come now. Where'd Mumu go? I don't know. She was here with all of you. She just left two minutes ago to go help you. And she must be there with the food. She's going to eat it all. No! No, no, no! Where's all the food, Moo Moo? <coughs> well, I just... Did you eat all of it? <coughs> You're gonna get it! <coughs> Don't worry, my friends. <laughs> I made a lot more sandwiches, but I hid them under the table just in case some glutton came around and ate them all. We have food for everybody! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs>